van driver killed, Japanese badminton star Momota hurt in Maju Expressway crash. Philippines warns of explosive eruptions after Taal volcano spews ash near Manila. Glad to have you with us here on your updates at noon. I'm Brennan Lipal. Now, newly crowned Malaysia Masters champion and badminton world number one, Kento Momota, suffered injuries after getting involved in a traffic accident at kilometer 13.7 of the Max Expressway early this morning. However, the driver of the van, aged 24, was killed in the accident. Driver, who was a local man, died at the scene. Slango Fire and Rescue Deputy Operation Director Hafisha Mohamad Noor said the van was believed to be heading towards Kuala Lumpur International Airport before running into the back of a lorry at about 4.50 a.m. near Serdang. Momota, along with fellow Japanese National Assistant Coach Hirayama Yu and Physiotherapy Officer Marimoto Arkifumi and England National William Thomas, only suffered minor injuries. It is reported that Momota is in stable condition and is currently receiving treatment in Putrajaya Hospital. Yesterday, Momota was crowned Malaysia Masters champion after beating Danish player Victor Axelsen 24-22-21-11 in final competition in Akzata Arena, Bukit Jalil. Now, Health Minister Dato Sri Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad said there is no need for school closure due to the spread of the influenza virus. However, schools are reminded to constantly monitor the virus infection as a measure to ensure the health of the students. He also assured that there are adequate supply of the influenza antivirus medicinal stock. Meanwhile, Datu Sri Zukivli said the ministry will also increase its surveillance at all of the country's entry and exit points to curb any possibility of the virus widespread. Tingkatkan kewaspadaan kami di CPRC dan semua badan-badan apa-apa yang bertanggungjawab telah kita kita gerakkan semua pegawai kesihatan daerah ya dan semua fasiliti-fasiliti kita telah kita berikan kita berikan arahan untuk mempertingkatkan ini ya dan kita pun tahu bahawa influenza ini tidak adalah sama dengan apa yang influenza yang berlaku di Wuhan China itu ya dan ini merupakan satu novel corona corona virus yang baru yang baru dikesan dan semua ini kita akan tunggu uh, pembutirannya daripada pihak uh, pihak yang berwajib. Influenza is an infection with flu symptoms such as fever, sore throat, cough, headache, muscle and joint pain and fatigue. The outbreak caused by seasonal influenza virus only causes mild cold to ordinary people but can lead to severe infections in high-risk groups such as children, the elderly, pregnant women and those with chronic illnesses. Last Wednesday, the Health Ministry was reported to be investigating the latest development of the infection at all educational institutions after students tested positive for influenza. A. Over in Johor, a total of 89 students from six districts have been infected by the influenza virus. According to a statement issued by the Johor Education Director, Azman Adnan, Johor Bahru had the most number of victims with 56 cases, followed by Kulai with 15, Tangka 6, Kluang 5, Muar 5 and one in Batu Pahat and Pontian. He said data from government and private health centres showed that these comprise preschool, primary and secondary children. However, so far, no classes or schools schools have been closed down. Asman also said that the school headmasters and principals have been instructed to take the necessary prevention and control measures. He added that the Johor Health Department had taken early measures to tackle the problem and is in constant contact with the health officers. Asman further noted that the schools are equipped with screening apparatus to detect students who have fever and they have also been advised to clean the classes with Dettol. Students or school staff who have been detected with influenza-like illness symptoms, ILI, will be exempted from coming to school to prevent the spread of the disease. Now, a total of 4,000 ringgit compound have been collected following inspections made in 56,000 food premises since the impl implementation of smoking ban at each reach nationwide. Deputy Health Minister Dr. Lee Boon Chai said 95% of the food premises adhered to the smoking ban. Pada peringkat awal, memang saman yang misalannya hari pertama 
uh, saman yang dikeluarkan uh, lebih daripada 700 dan kemudiannya uh, sudah menurun. Jadi kita lihat ini satu trend yang agak menggalakkan, uh, memenangkan uh, pematuhan agak baik, sambutan agak menggalakkan dan uh, saman yang dikeluarkan telah uh, menurun. Dan kita, saya nak tegaskan di sini juga kita menghormati uh, mereka yang tidak merokok supaya bebas daripada asal rokok. Dan mereka yang merokok, kita harap mereka gunakan peluang ini untuk berhenti rokok ataupun kurangkan merokok ataupun sekurang-kurangnya uh, elak daripada merokok di hadapan orang lain. The ministers in the Prime Minister's Department, Dato Liu Vui Kiong, said electronic surveillance by enforcement agencies is legal. Now, with a statement release, he said that this is the prerogative of the enforcement agencies, which is in line with international enforcement standards. According to Dato Liu, electronic surveillance methods have been practiced in most of other countries in the world to keep their people safe. He also said that the Parliament had also passed several bills that allow electronic surveillance under Section 116C of the Criminal Procedure Code as general provision. The statement was released following questions of legitimacy of using electronic surveillance in the country. Now, there were only 248 applications received for the Sire Residence Housing Project in Kota Baru, compared to 2,160 housing units offered with price ranging from below 290,000 and 270,000 ringgit. Thus, Housing and Local Government, Zuraida Kamarudin, assured that the Ministry will help the developer to attract more civil servants to purchase the houses meant for the government servants. Memandangkan hanya 240 uh, apa ni, permohonan saja bermasuk Itu pun tak tahu sama ada dia akan uh, lulus ke tidak Satu lagi hal so, Jadi oleh kerana itu kita harus uh, apa, uh, membuat satu cadangan atau keputusan yang win-win uh, Dan juga keputusan yang uh, tidak akan membebankan atau merugikan kerajaan terutamanya Earlier, she visited the housing project area in Lemba Sireh, Kota Baru, Kelantan. Under the project, there were three more blocks yet to be built in the area. Thus, the minister have offered the developer an option to continue with the construction as planned or converting it into affordable homes. Now, Deputy Multimedia and Communication Minister Adin Shazli Shith said racial sensitivity must be protected for more positive effects in racial harmony. As such, he urged media agencies to play their roles in fostering unity and good relations among Malaysians. Kita harapkan jabatan penyiaran, jabatan penerangan memainkan dia peranan, eh, bernama memainkan peranan yang uh, lebih uh, efektif, lebih signifikan dengan perkara-perkara yang berlaku dalam negara kita pada hari ini. Uh, menjurus ke arah perpaduan dan dalam masa yang sama, untuk memberi kefahaman kepada rakyat tentang pentingnya kita bersatu padu dalam perkara-perkara yang melibatkan kepentingan bersama dalam negara kita. Adin said the police and the Malaysian Communication and Multimedia Commission will be monitoring and take stern action on those who try to initiate any forms provocation that could disrupt racial harmony in the country. Now still come Penang Port to spend 350 million ringgit to boost exports by a North Butterworth container terminal. There are more coming up next.
and Culture Ministry will focus on cultural tourism, which is in line with the objectives of the Shared Prosperity Vision 2030. Its Deputy Minister, Mohamed Bakhtia Wanche, said this is also one of the focus of Visit Malaysia Year 2020. Fokus uh, visit Malaysia 2020 ini adalah uh, uh, kita nak uh, bawa uh, ke cultural tourism ataupun uh, pelancongan budaya. Uh, pelancongan budaya ini adalah satu trend yang baru dalam uh, pelancongan di mana kita nak menonjolkan uh, kebudayaan, kesenian uh, negara kita. Previously, on the 6th of January, Minister Datuk Muhammadin Katapi said two new policies, the National Tourism Policy, DPN 2030, and National Cultural Policy, DKN 2030, will be launched this year to drive the tourism and cultural sector. Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng says Penang Port Sendiran Berhad will invest another 350 million ringgit to make the North Butterworth Container Terminal, or NBCT, as a key port in the North Zone. In line with that, the logistic industry will also be enhanced to facilitate NBCT as a main entry point for goods and containers, especially from Thailand. Rohania ialah 650 juta ringgit. Nah, di antara perkara-perkara yang dibincang ialah untuk dirikan satu zon komersial bebas yang sekarang sedang diusahakan. According to the finance minister, a total of 300 million ringgit had been dispersed to NBCT throughout last year to boost the trading activities in the port. This year, an additional 350 million ringgit allocation will be given for the next three years to achieve the target of increasing trading activities at NBCT. He said this to reporters after visiting NBCT together with Penang Port Commission Chairman Jeffrey Chu. Now, 10 ministries and 15 government agencies have joined hands with the National Anti-Drugs Agency, or NADA, to holistically curb drug issues in the country. Among others, it had launched a pilot model project. Now, this is an effort to combat the misuse of drugs. According to NADA Director Datuk Sri Zulkifli Abdullah, the project, which was implemented since last July, have covered 12 areas around the nation. The 12 areas were high-risk spots that fall into integrated efforts undertaken by the authorities to curb drug and social ills problems. Contohnya PPR ada dua kawasan dalam 12 ni. Satu di Setapak, satu lagi di PJ Selatan. Eh? Dan selain itu ada kawasan rancangan Felda di Pahang. Ada kawasan nelayan di Dungun, kawasan nelayan di Kuala Kedah dan Langkawi. He added that the agency will be issuing the latest list of high-risk drug areas this month. Thus, he noted that efforts to combat drug menace does not lie on enforcement agencies alone, but from all parties. Family institutions especially play a key role in both preventing and intervening with drug users. Now that concludes today's edition of Updates at Noon. Now a reminder of our top story, van driver killed Japanese badminton star Momota hurt in Maju Expressway crash. Join us again at 7pm for more updates on the latest happenings around the world. Till then, I'm Brendan DePaul. Have a good day.